get things right. I'm going to go ahead and cut all the chop this up and it's going to make no sense to you. And you're going to go, oh my god, I, what's wrong with him? He can't even make a video. He can't even tell uh, a linear story. No, I can't. Not right now. Man, I look terrible. I apologize to my humble audience. Um, doing the best anyone can do. Yeah, I myself, I make excuses and complain a lot. That's my motive. That's my racket. So, do things around planet Earth that, that, you know, suddenly we know what's happening in Syria, Jordan, or wherever, in Iraq or Afghanistan, does it really affect us? It does affect you if you know about it and you know something's wrong. But if you don't know about it, what's the difference? The knowing is all the hundred is the difference. I mean, the knowing, just knowing that something is happening. You know, there's all kinds of things that uh, could be discussed. I don't know what's happening. I'm. I mean, I. Everything's spinning out of control. All the uh, bits of information you follow, whether it's election hacking or. administration, the, the leadership, uh, it's a bunch of malarkey. Having trouble figuring out how to present filming at the White House in a new way every time. I mean, I have a construct, an idea in my mind what I want to make. And coming up with new ways to, you know, film the, the film the White House grounds. It's just, it's, you know, it's hard to find a new way to present the same old thing, you know. People are protesting there every day single people that have issues, you know, about other countries that come there and stand there and hold a sign all by themselves. Veterans that go there, um, stand there all by themselves. You know, it's interesting to, to meet people from all over the world. They come to look at the White House and the most common things people ask are, uh, is this the front of the White House? Not really much to watch here. I don't have anything to tell you that's going to thrill you. Um, I'd really like to be able to find a, a drummer and bass player to to write music with again. It's, it's just like sitting sitting here just practicing and playing. After a while, you know, you, you know, I just go. To, I can't seem to meld with people. <clears throat> when you go to open mics. Everybody there is, you know, drinking beer and stuff, and they, they put on airs. And you go over to their house, and then it's all this big, only Grateful Dead thing, or, no, we're only playing blues, or, um, you know, oh, I hate uh, this, I hate that, uh, turn down, you know, I don't mind turning down. You know how to make a guitar player turn down? Put sheet music in front of them. Uh, I need to practice playing with people so I go to these open mics and it's it's usually a disaster you know I'll have good conversations with people because again you know we're drinking beer 
doing shots, you know, and <coughs> people talk about their conquests, and I just listen, you know, but, uh, I guess you know, time has had its way with with musical future of myself. Um, finding a somebody to write music with is like you know that's like finding treasure, or it's like finding you know. That way you can work together and make music and make some great shit. I mean, having another person's input, other people's input into, into music is always really good. Unless you're, you know, real proficient and you know what you want and you can play all the instruments and do it yourself that way. And then when you're done, you can say, I played this, I did all this, I mixed all this, I produced all this, and but it's also something to collaborate and, you know, really make something with somebody else's energy. You combine the two, then you get something completely new. You know, it always affects the outcome. <clears throat> so, just about done with this butt. Uh, when I'm done, I'll be done with the video. Um... What else is there? I don't know. I'm so tired of the limits of of my situation creatively. You know, I'm trying to think outside the box, you know. Um, I have a hell of a lot of music. I have like... Based on what I've written in the past and what I could do, you know collaborating with new people, who knows, good 12 songs, in addition to what I wrote in the 2000s, so I mean, and what other, you know, energies can be put into that to make new music, you know, so there is nothing happening, except, you know, in the world stage there's a lot of insanity happening, so keep your eyes glued to your screens because, you know, something's going to happen again. It'll be caught on a phone video, vertical video, and that's another thing. The vertical videos. All you got to do is when you, <clears throat> before you start video recording with your phone, turn your phone horizontally, not vertically. Turn it that way, and then hit record. And then you'll have the anamorphic peripheral view, the way the eye is really meant to see. And hunters and gatherers can't go fucking hunting with this. Like a horse with blinders on. Don't pay attention to anything else. Well, that's it for my uh, formatless vlog or whatever. As long as it took to smoke a cigarette. Take care of yourself. Bye. Love yourself, friends, and don't forget to, you know, reward yourself for your for your efforts and your success.